It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron. You a phony f What? Chicago is even worse, maybe. Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video and welcome to Killing Frequency or Killer Frequency. One of the two names. I already forgot. So, long story short, what happened in the previous video is that uh, we actually did uh, notice who is the unknown serial killer. It's the Whistling Man. Apparently, that killer was. Uh... Caller waiting for us. Yes, I know. Apparently, the serial killer that was. It disappeared in the 1950s, but it came back now. And also, I did rescue a police officer. I feel good. And I have a caller because these both people here Hit interrupted me. We have a caller. Yes, all right. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. What do you want? Is everything uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? A whistling man <laughs> with the question mark. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but I do. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us. I, I mean. Jeez, dusted pretzels. Are you drunk? Goddamn kids! I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut them off. Yeah, cut him off. Oh wait, no. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. I... I'm not sure I said... Ah, damn it, I think I fucked it up. Why is this song actually familiar? Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy. The hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny. I at think all. I am somehow no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie No, that that's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right, let's do this. All right. Uh, by the way, I believe I did fuck up already. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed nine one one. I need the sheriff right away. Oh shit. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for nine one one tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Uh, the cops, uh... Oh, okay. The cops aren't coming, the sheriff is dead. Uh... Damn it, I'm not gonna make it a lot better if I tell that the sheriff is dead, but I'm not gonna make it even easier that, that I'm just gonna say the cops aren't coming. Uh, so both of them are bad. Maybe this is the worst? So I'm... Uh, I don't know, I don't know, this is a difficult one. By the way, this game is literally making my brain uh, go ultra, like, uh, thinking mode. Uh, go for this. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. 
I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Uh, what are you on? Uh, a jazz run? Bad night to go out for. No, I don't joke around. Wait, where where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. No. I never locked the door because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Get back and find uh, your key. Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I... Shit! Oh, shoot! Oh, he's back. Oh. Look, I don't know a thing about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't... No, no, no. You are listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Oh, no. Why would you even, like, bother with this? I guess it's cool. Don't introduce it. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Wait, what? You're telling me I should go? Wait... Do I have to contact them somehow? Wait, where where am I supposed to actually... Can I... Oh, I can move! Oh shit, I can actually move! Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I'm gonna open everything so everything looks open and I can know when. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hello, a familiar face. What the fuck? Scream. Wait. So many locked doors, so few keys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, scissors? No, I don't need the scissors. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Can I put my face in? Why is there music? I don't need a coffee break. Crafting work? No. Uh, not this. Radio. All right, I guess it doesn't work. Uh, is there? Truck. Wait, full could uh, full color nuts and the bolts action. Oh, is it this key fam? No. Uh, this. This has to be important. Twins, uh, I've borrowed your car, Dave magazine. Wait, is it this? Please tell me it is. Why is everything closed? Key to get in there. Why is everything closed? Shit, I don't like it. What the fuck? Did I just bro- <laughs> Whoops, I broke the door. I don't like that they're all closing the doors like this. Trust me, if I was a survivor, I might as well just open every single door, especially the bathrooms, and then just- No, actually, that's a terrible idea. <sighs> Alright, then uh, that should be it, right? No, actually, there's more. Cool. Uh, just stickers. That's a pencil. Why would you need three phones? Uh, can read that. Actually, why would you need three phones? This is interesting. Let me keep it for now. 
Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of your garlic bread. Oh, hello, there's a quest trophy. What is this? Gallows report. High wins that big game, 80-20. Alright, I, I don't know about the big game. I don't know about anything about American uh, football. I do know sports, okay? Alright, I... I'm done. I'm done looking. <laughs> I just broke... I'm just breaking doors. What is this, actually? <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We got a beer. What am I gonna do? The party is going to be over. Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Jack <laughs> I wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a. I guess this is a. Like a commercial thing. Oh. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want a double? Yeah, it's all commercials, I guess. You find anything? I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? Uh, not yet. I'm going to keep looking. I'm done looking. I just get to with that call. I'm done looking. Let's just. Get on with the call. You sure about that? Yeah, let's do this. If you're sure. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Uh, put the scroll drive in my... And what? Unscrew the steering column. Yes. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? How long? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here. I'll pick it up and... Oh, God. My heart is pumping. No, uh, you're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Do you just breathing? Don't panic. Uh, tell me what exactly you see. Uh, you're doing great. Uh, what do you actually see? Tell me exactly what you see. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a green wire, and a brown wire. Uh, fuck. Wait. I think uh, I'm trying to remember from the movies. Uh, I think it's red one and yellow. Strip the blue wire and twist them together. Strip the brown and green. Uh, twist red, red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Shut up. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Oh shit. Actually, I do not. Alright, epic music. Uh, strip the purple wire and twist onto exposed cable into the ignition. Yes, ignition. Strip the pink wire and plug it into the ignition. Well, oh, you're a lifesaver. Oh, wait to tell my jazzer friends here about this one. I'll just strip that wire in. Let go! <laughs> Fuck! Oh no. I thought I was going. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm sorry, Sandra. I didn't. Uh... I didn't mean to. That poor woman. <sighs> Folks. Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken too soon. Fuck. 
Never put it in the ignition, I guess. Oh, I feel so bad for her, actually. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Oh, <laughs> shut up, dude. It's nothing personal. Dude, this guy's a prick. I'm getting literally sick of this guy. He he just literally somehow tried to save a woman. I mean, I also tried to save it. But at the same time, I'll be like fucking panicking over here, breaking sweats like everywhere and just fucking crying while this guy's like, I, I, I didn't mean it. Just, just have some fucking reality. Hello? I know you prayed for like 5-10 minutes, do they give a fuck about you? Fuck no, actually. It's a sad place on earth, Peggy, be honest. You're a dick. It's a sad place on earth. It's nothing personal, Peggy, be honest. I don't know, just go for it. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not Chicago is even worse, maybe! Oh, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Ask backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Some folks have been okay, you don't notice the stink after a while. Huh? Can I just uh, be quiet for this? Can I just... Can I just leave this answer? <laughs> can I just actually just leave the answer like this? I'm out. What? There's still more here before I can leave. Alright, fine. Oof, some folks are have been okay. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. What? 242. Oh, this is a long ass game. Caller on line one. Alright. I hope I can save this one at least. Oh, I feel so bad for the woman. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What a great name. Not totally shit. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's <sighs> Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, oh my good God. What? Alright, but seriously dude, why are you calling when there's a killer on the fucking goose? I'm actually getting pissed off by just uh, listening to this. Yeah, people just are dying, killing everything, and uh, here's my coupon for the pizza. Dude, I don't, I might like the pizza, but after this killer guy is gone for f for forever. Don't worry about it, yeah, that didn't come out great. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you 
you or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. I'm gone. Famous I'm done. Pizza I'm done. Sale. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Bro, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? You know how? Cassette, sure. yes. Now it's actually for this one. Done. Oh, dear God. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? This is expensive. <laughs> Congrati. It's called karate. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. We're done. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, you'll receive two... Do I have to actually listen to this? Really? Oh no! Did I really fuck up? Oh my god! We're done? Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Alright, first fuck that uh, ad. Yes. Second of all, I really hate when I watch videos on my phone. It's literally in my city or in my country. No, not a single different ad besides just casino. Hey, pay for the casino. Bet everything. Yeah, boy, just bet everywhere. Yeah, like Elevator. the people are not having it. fucking stuff. Alright. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Good. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am... Uh, Leslie left me in charge. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff, Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. If that's a There's a killer in your house, dude! Just tell me what's happening. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid. Just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. Oh shit. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Oh. But I was there. I covered it. <sighs> Are people so fucking dumb. I don't think it's a teen. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. 
Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Can you get out of there? Uh, thank you. Take care. Uh, think you can take the whistling man? Think you might be up for fighting the whistling man? Son, I am 55 years old. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Oh yeah! And buy Maurice time. And get an exclusive interview with the kill. No! Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry Maurice, Peggy and I were just trying to figure out you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. No. No, 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 no. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Alright. Come on, quick. There's no... What? What? Oh, shit, 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 shit! Where's the fax Tell machine? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. All right, go, 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 go. Okay, go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Where is it? Uh, fax machine, fax machine. Could have been better if I was able. Oh, this. This must be it. Yes. Uh, so where is he now? Uh, all right, Peggy, I got this. Uh, oh, I can put it like this. Nice. Uh, Peggy. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him. Avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh where should I call where should I call to lure the killer away? Uh call the archives. No. Uh boardroom fax. Uh t -t 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 -t. All right, fuck. So he searched every room leading up to the boardroom and he's uh, in the office next door. Editor, editor's office. I don't know which uh, room are you talking about. Called so the facts. 
He sent it through the fax machine. Uh, no, not a boardroom, by the way. Don't click it accidentally. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wait, what? What is this? Secret uh, archives. Oh, I don't want to fuck things up. I don't know which office. Actually, no, there's an office space. Ah, shit. I don't want to kill another people. I don't, I don't want to kill another person here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Um, go to one second door. Let's die on another room. Go to kitchen. I hope you can actually make it. I guess, and I hope it's the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. You can thank me later. Good plan, Peggy. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the Whistling Man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. You ready? Yes. Yes, as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Can I lock him in a room? No, don't play dead. That's a stupid idea. He'll actually kill him. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Fuck! I love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer... Fuck! Fuck! Fuck it! I did not see a fucking door in the editor! Oh no! 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 I fucked up! It's not the time, Peggy! No, no, it's not the time! It's not the time because he's in there right now! Secret archives! It's not the time. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids! We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. No, no. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, oh. and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? <sighs> use yourself. Use the radio. Use yourself as bait. No. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to kill another guy. I already accidentally killed a woman. Is this what happens when you actually use a fucking radio station? Is there a TV in there? Risking it. Maybe 
We could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Yes, 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 yes. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Yes, he's not dead yet. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Let's make it. Don't get excited yet. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello. Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Turn the volume down. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Yeah. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then Yeah. Sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number, but a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Uh, Wait, can I check it somewhere here? Give him registration. How can I check somehow? Oh, 189.16. is the best one. That's correct. You got it. 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Alright. So, since he's in the editor, uh, he wants to go to the secret archives, okay. He hasn't checked the boardroom yet. So, call him to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? <sighs> he hasn't been there yet, so he might have a lot of time to actually make it. Yep, make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. <sighs> Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll give a fake advice. I'm impersonating Mr. Russell. Yeah! I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip! What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. Please. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but... Uh, That'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but 
That's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Oh, hide under the desk. Hide in your cabinet. Hide inside the secret archive. Hide amongst the cubicles. But they're pretty far away. No. Uh, which thing is next to the door? So far, so good. So, <sighs> hide in your cabinet. Hide inside the secret archive. Hide amongst the cubicles. Hide under the... No. Hide in your cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Alright. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest Dash, you son of a bitch! I told you to... <laughs> no! No! Forrest, he's... He's... No! <laughs> Fuck! Can I can I load the game? Last save 30 seconds ago. No, don't tell me he's actually dead. Please, 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 please. Please don't be saved. Please don't be saved. No! Fuck! 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 Oh no. Dead. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks. We'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Oh. Yep. I'ma end it here. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. What do you want to know? All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Don't sorry, I'm not. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well... My folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So, I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but... I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You wanna go check it out? Me? You sure you don't wanna go? No way. 
I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Um, uh, hello. Our buzzed. Okay, down to the first floor, then check the door. You know what? I'm actually gonna end it over here, ladies and gentlemen, because. I feel bad, I feel very very bad that, uh, oh fuck me. I thought I had to be very quick, but nope, I thought he actually got in. How long do you have to like hide in the cabinet? Oh my god, okay, for the first thing I did not know anything about cars, okay. I actually, I know a little bit about cars, but I did not know how to hotwire them. I thought the first movie logic happened, yes, red and yellow, good. But the, the next one, the uh, ignition, I thought it was that, because literally, I don't know, but I never even thought that uh, she can get electrocuted by that. I'm the worst radio guy ever to help people. And I know the feeling now how police officers or the people who receive the calls try to keep everyone calm, do this, do that, stay safe, you know, do this so you can, you know, avoid this uh, circumstances. I don't know, it just sucks, it just sucks. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it over here. I feel actually very bad for these people. Well, it's a game, okay? It's a game. I should not be mentally fucked because of that. But I feel like I want to save these people, you know? I just want to save them and I keep fucking it up. I guess this is it. I don't know how long we have till then. And uh, boy oh boy. So thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you think I'm a moron and dislike because I actually did not rescue the people. Well, it's your decision. So pick one of them. And uh, stay tuned for more upcoming videos on the killer frequency. And stay tuned and stay safe out there ladies and gentlemen. Stay awesome. Also. And bye-bye. Uh,